Hey everyone. I'm super excited today to demonstrate our new custom webhook feature for Thousand Eyes. The goal of this effort is to allow our customers to ingest our alert data into any third party tool they care about in whatever format they care about. So this will unlock things like Microsoft and WebEx Teams integrations, Splunk and Moogsoft integrations, ServiceNow integrations, and so much more. Let me show you how it works. So the first thing I want to call out is on the left hand side, we have a new sub menu called integrations beneath alerts. So I'll go ahead and click in here. This is where all of your custom webhook work will live and in the future, all of your native integrations as well. So here I have an integration that I've already set up with Splunk. But before we look at that, let's just take a look at the options you have when building a new webhook integration. So this is everything you need to build your webhook. You want to give it a name. You need the URL of the destination server. In my Splunk example, that is the URL uh, on Splunk for Splunk to which I want to send the alerts. Uh, note that we have a series of preset configuration templates uh, depending on what integration you're doing. If you have one of these five integrations, we have a template for you. Otherwise, you can use the generic uh, template as well. So for example, if I were to select App Dynamics configuration template, it builds this template in a way that's expected by App Dynamics. Note we have four authentication methods. You can choose none, basic username or password, bearer token, and even uh, supports OAuth codes. I'll also note that you can add a series of key value pairs to the header of that alert that is sent to your monitoring server. In this case, uh, I could add alert ID or any number of key value pairs. I'll also point out that in the URL query parameters, you can also add additional variables here to define the payload of that alert as it's being sent to the destination. The other nice thing is with this integration submenu, I can actually manage alert rules directly from here without having to switch into a different section of the Thousand Eyes GUI. So in our case here, I've already attached this integration to this one alert rule here, just for purposes of our demo test. And over here, I've got an existing test to GitHub and for purposes of the demonstration, I've attached this alert rule here. Now, this is an alert rule looking for latency of greater than 10 milliseconds, so it's very easy to trigger. Now, if I jump over here to Splunk, we can actually take a look at this event that I had generated from Thousand Eyes and sent as part of this integration. Now, you'll note here, these are all of those variable fields that were populated in that template that I showed you as part of the payload body. This gives you everything you would need to understand this alert, including agents, response times, and, and other aspects of the test result. So I think this is very exciting for our customers. I encourage you to try to create integrations with whatever you can imagine and, and add any variables that you fancy. We'll also be providing documentation for both UE and API so that you can fully understand the nuances involved here. So we're very excited about this. This is an extremely powerful feature and we can't wait to hear what you think about it. And let us know if you have any questions.